Now, once you get set with whatever draw step you're gonna use, you're going to have the bow, of course, set up to spec, and that means to have the cams oriented according to the manufacturer's recommended timing mark, which, of course, Bowtech has two little dots on each cam. You want that cable right in between. And once your timing is set, then we're gonna check sync. And most of the time, the sync is gonna be very close, but one of them might, one of the draw stops might be off the cable a little bit. So you might have to advance that cam or bring it back a little bit. Now, the way that we used to do that was by pressing the bow and twisting and untwisting a cable, and that would control the rotation of that cam. So let's go ahead and do that and see exactly how far this draw stop moves with a half a twist out of a cable. Okay, before we adjust the cable to see how far that moves the draw stop, we got this bow timed perfectly, axle to axle measurements dead on, and then we checked the sink, and we found out that we had to add a couple twists to the bottom cam's cable. And now our sink is perfect, and we're gonna show you right here. As you can see, the sink is now absolutely perfect. Both of the stops are hitting the cable at the exact same time. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add a half a twist to the bottom cam's cable to see how far that pulls the draw stop off the cable at full draw. There you see, with just a half a twist, we have a considerable gap now. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this gap. There it is, we have about 56 thousandths of an inch. That's what our gap is at. So, as you can see, by twisting the cable a half a turn, you're not gonna be able to get that precise. Now let's fix this with the time lock. All right, so the bottom cam stop was a little late getting to the cable when we were checking the sink. So what we need to do is utilize the time lock system to lengthen the cable so that the stop rotates a little bit more and hits at the same time as the top cam. First thing you wanna do is back off the lock screw on the time lock system just a little bit there. And now you wanna flip that the other way and now you're gonna be able to see hash marks here so you could uh, gauge how far you're backing off or lengthening that cable. So what we need to do is we're gonna go to the right here with this and that actually tightens it. So we're gonna go to the left You can see that it's it's moving it. We're definitely below that line, the midline right now. And there, we're gonna try that there. So let's go ahead and take it to the press and see what we have. Okay, the amount that we adjusted the time lock system on that bottom cam was about two thirds of a tick mark. So let's see if we can make up that 56 thousandths of distance that that gap was. And we got pretty lucky, got on our first try, but two thirds of a tick mark actually equated to about 56 thousandths of an inch. So that's it, that's as simple as it can get, guys. You're not stuck to a certain amount per half twist of a cable. You can dial it in to any amount of distance to make up that gap. So your sink is absolutely perfect.